war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Such pretty eyes. Looking good, if I do say so myself. New hairstyle. I like it. I clean up pretty nice. It's 
so handsome. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, very strapping. Hun, you think my nose is too big? My handsome husband. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Oh, that's the face I fell in love with. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hmm. More of the same. It's a little early to be drinking. Now, who left those here? Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. <laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning! vault -Tec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. 
I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. Huh? I have my moments. Mr. Johnny, Sean has been changed. Absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have... We do have coming in. That's... um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. 
my god. Oh my god. We we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Is here for you. All way, please. please proceed no. in an orderly fashion. This way. Welcome home. This way, please. Male. Female and infant. Good. Step over to the table. And take a seat. You'll Welcome. need your suits before we can uh, take you further. Right thanks. Just this way. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything Sir? we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, honey. What if they didn't make it? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Honey, <clears throat> could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident 
secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Giant roaches? What the hell?
What happened here? Where is everyone?
This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. Anyway, As I, I know you just can't breathe. get enough of that Roy Brown. Oh, I it's, hope that's the case it's really you. Here's Roy Brown. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you... A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're, uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve... I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Shaw may turn up yet. I don't know, Codsworth. I... Follow me. <laughs> Picking up hostile life sucking Oh, 
Mr. Johnny, your, your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Got it. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Who doesn't love some Louis Jordan? Am I right? This you want to come am. with me, pal? Because Louis Jordan rules. <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. And now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsors. John and Kathy Super Salon invites you to try out the latest innovations in hairstyles. Look good. Make people jealous. Oh. This is here. Uh, well, please. Okay, it's Cole Porter, I guess. How That's you doing, fun. buddy? Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy.
Hitler's inside. The Raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. I'm just Damn. passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And those raiders want us all dead, including you. Huh. Nah, that ain't it. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. Maybe. Thanks. It's good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... God damn it. Well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. <laughs> Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, 
I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Bob Crosby this time, not Bing, in case, well, in case you got confused. I sometimes do. And now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsors. Commonwealth Weaponry. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself, protect your family. Up next, call out through the fallout. That's just the name of the song. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not recommending it. Of course, uh, uh, scientifically recommended action.
Tex Beneke, folks. Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. So, um, that this radio station. A pretty amazing display. We, we don't really make I'm just any glad you're on our side. Caps. 
and uh, there are uh, well, some people help me stay in the air. People like uh, feelings mutual, like this. You can never have the too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, there. you said you were just passing through. Only. Well, maybe this will help you reconsider. Ray Smith with Ray Ain't much, you, but it's the best we can do. Really and you've earned it. Here at two in the morning. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel... your son's energy. He's alive. Bullshit. You're trying to play me for a fool. Oh no, kid. No. The sight's sometimes foggy. But it ain't ever a liar. Your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shit. Ma'am. All right, folks. To help you Thanks need to our friend here, Diamond it's City safe to move child. out. We're heading for... That place Mama Murphy knows about. Thank you. It's not far. She knows about it?
So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Your money. All of it. Now. Yeah, yeah. I know the drill. This ain't my first mugging. Here. Now leave me alone. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the good. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. <laughs> Can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Not interested. And now, uh, a word, or several, from our sponsors. Commonwealth Weaponry. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself. Protect your family. Here's Frankie Carl with a song... <laughs> Frankly, sounds a little too good to be true. I'm not saying he's embellishing. I, uh, but, uh, well, no, okay. I guess I am. <sighs> Never mind. Here's uh, one more tomorrow.
We had a deal, Trudy. <sighs> Hand over the goods, you horse. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Whoa, whoa. You know what that junk has done to my boy? This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Now hand over your money, all of it. Just keep calm, all right? Here. That's everything I have. Now get the hell out of here, both of you. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Fine. We'll leave. Just my goddamn luck. Hey. Can't believe you made that scumbag turn tail and run. Here, this is for you. Now you ever need to trade? My shop's open. Not interested. Never take a hit of Jad again, I swear. Hey.
again. Plenty of his record survived. Somehow. This is Diamond City Radio, and I'm, uh, you know, this is me, Travis. Anyway. Uh, I just broke what I was going to play. So, uh, I guess I'll play Danny Kaye instead. Got it. Now, rookie, I'm gonna 
Was maybe by the ink spots. I mean, it was definitely by the ink spots. Wait, it's, it's called maybe. I should, I should have been clearer. What the fuck was that? Oh, fuck yeah. 